Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 5 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering variables, uh, those things that you learnt in 4th, 5th, 6th, something grade. If you haven't learnt about variables, you're probably what's known as a kindergarten dropout, or you just weren't paying attention or something while you went through all your courses. I don't know what the heck happened to you. Anyway, nonetheless, uh, if you're in second grade maybe, then uh, all is good. I can probably still teach you everything you need to know about variables in C. And second part is the printf statement, um, putting variables into that and actually printing the values into the console. Okay, so let's get started. So if you've watched my previous videos, which I highly recommend before watching this one, um, you would have hear, heard me say that int stands for integer, probably, and if not, I'm just telling you now. So um, an integer in math or common sense is an in, int is integer, and integer is a whole number. So anything without a decimal, basically. So negative three, zero, four, all those are integers, and decimal would be something else. So um, in math, you'd say something like x equals, and then uh, I don't know, six. And you'd say, all right, so x equals six. All is good. Um, yeah, wish we could do that in programming, but it doesn't exactly work that way. It's not much harder, but you have to specify what type it is. So you have to say, oh, okay, we're going to have a type int variable. You can't, um, basically, if it's going to be a whole number, you have to say it's an int. If it's going to be, so, if it's going to have a decimal, you can't. So to start, we're going to say int. That's going to be what our start is. And then we we can make any name we want, as long as it's not a reserved word, aka these words in pink right here. So return, integer, and there'll be other ones you learn later. So int, and you can just say my int, and then this is known as the assignment operator. So usually you'd say my int uh, gets assigned the value of, and then you just say six. And um, you're going to hear me say gets probably a lot. I tend just to like to use gets instead of is assigned a value of six. Um, just saying gets is a little easier because that way you can say, all right, well, my int is getting a value of six, or my int gets six. Just a little more easy to understand. All right, all is good. And I just also don't say equals because the, um, later on in programming, um, you use equals to compare two objects and see if they're equal to each other, and if they're not, then blah blah blah. But just we don't ever say my my int equals six. If I do, it's by accident. So the next part of this is double, and double is basically a number with an integer in it. So you can remember double um, the way I can easily remember it, or maybe you is uh, just double-sided, so two sides of the decimal. So one side has numbers, the other side has numbers. It's a double-sided decimal, basically. All right, so easy, not too hard, easy to remember. So we could just say my, and then double, and we'll say gets 4.5. Since it's a double, it can hold value of 4.5, all right? Now, I just want to cover one more thing before I move on as well. If for some reason um, I ever had uh, something saying that my int and then it was getting a 6.5, then it would truncate that number, which means it just cuts off the end. So if it was a 6.9, it's still going to be a 6. So it just cuts off the ending. And I will, I will talk about that in another tutorial. Um, for now, don't worry about it, not important in this tutorial, because so later on we're going to talk about how we can actually assign that a 6.5 or something along those lines, alright? It will become clear. So, um, when we want to put uh, these different values into a printf function, we have to say, we can't just put the value my int into that. It looks like it'd be fine and dandy, and in some other languages you can do that. 
button C unfortunately does not allow you probably because it's an early language and that's what's up uh, that's what other languages are based off of so early adopters anyway so what we have to do is what's called a format specifier so you can say percent and then you just say for integers you have to say percent I or percent D and I'm going to use D that's just because I learned that way to use D um, you can use I if you want I don't care so from here after you do your double quotes to end it you just do a um, comma and then just say what variable you're going to use so you can say my int and that's all you have to do and now you've said that in this percent %d you're going to use the value of my int now if I wanted to do the same thing for a double I have to use something else it's going to be the percent %f now please don't get confused with percent %d being a double I know it sounds good if you're going to get confused with that just use percent %i it works and yeah I, I'm just going to use percent %d have to deal with it because that's how, what I've used for a long time. So in this part here we have percent %f. Percent %f uh, stands for floating point number if that's what you were wondering. Um, so basically if you can remember floating point maybe that'll help you. Point being a decimal maybe. I'm not sure if that'll help you but hopefully will. So now I'm going to say my double and I love Xcode autofill because it pretty much knows what you're going to type it's smart. So now we're going to run this. And in the console, when we go to build and run and save, as you can see, we get a value of 6. My int is 6, the first thing. Now you can see here I put a backslash n. And so when I print this, it's percent %f. My double, my double is 4.5. So it prints out the double. And in a later tutorial, I'm also going to talk about why it has six values after um, the double, and that you really don't have to worry about that right now. Basically, it's just the default for a double to have six values afterward after the decimal. So it all means the same thing anyway. Um, so that's pretty much all I'm going to show in this tutorial. Um, I will be explaining many more things as well as operators later in the next tutorial. Uh, like plus minus multiplication etc and that's when you can really use and utilize integers and doubles a lot better it gets a little confusing then so I suggest um, I mean not really confusing but I just suggest that you understand this well enough and understand uh, the terms like percent %f and percent %d well enough that you can move on to the next tutorial when I make it and uh, have no problems at all so if you like or dislike these tutorials, please leave a comment below, and if you like, subscribe, and, well, even if you don't like it, maybe you should subscribe anyway. Um, it's a great way to learn programming, and uh, hopefully, I'm, tr I'm trying to make these enjoyable to uh, watch. If you don't think they're enjoyable, leave a comment, um, and rate the video as well, alright? So subscribe, rate, comment, you know the gist, alright? Thanks.